Oh, well, hello everybody, I'm back. Um, still in the same beer. It's I'm a slow drinker. If you saw the episode yesterday, you'll see that uh, it's the same beer. I'm taking advantage of the baby's asleep and recording two videos in one night. And this time around, I'm recording day two. I'm not, not day two, day three of RPG a day. And this time around, the prompt is unique. This time around, we're talking about unique elements in a game. And, and as in other days with this year's RPG a day, in RPG a day 2019, we sort of can interpre interpret what uh, that prompt is. And I've decided to talk about, um, did I say unique? Oh God, it's, it's the beer talking, it's engage. Um, sorry, don't drink and record videos. Day three, engage. Thank you for your patience. So I was thinking, how can we engage other players in the game? And let me begin by saying this. On my first video on day one of RPG at Day 2019, I mentioned that I'm currently in a OSR old school binge. Uh, of course, I've just had a baby, uh, got a new job. I've been in it for half a year now. But it, I got a lot, lot more things to do. So my time's limited. Uh, five years ago, I was playing Pathfinder on Mutants and Masterminds and dedicating time to making NPCs and pre prepping and no problem. Now, these days, I don't have that luxury. So um, I prefer games that need less uh, prep time. Sorry, this could be baby-related. No, it's not baby-related. Checking on the phone. Uh, yes. So I, I, I've come to appreciate simpler games. That doesn't mean I'm. I enjoy the traditional OSR type of adventure. I'm not into dungeoneering or or going into the underground, killing monsters, gathering treasure. Uh, that's not my thing. I grew up in the late '80s, early '90s, heyday of the uh, campaign boxes from TSR, all story-driven. Um, these massive adventures that were more about events and stories. Dragonlands, for example, that's not, not dungeoneering. That's that's my cup of tea. So I like old school games, uh, rules, but I still play these very involved campaigns plot-wise that really take into account characters' backgrounds and their input on the world. So sort of a dichotomy there. And I think that's one of the secrets of engaging players and, and people in our game listening to them, making sure they're part of the creative process. I'm not advocating that as game masters we rescind and give up our roles, and um, that's okay. Uh, I think we, we still have a role to play in terms of preparing the world and creating challenges, but we shouldn't be afraid of giving some uh, creative and narrative control to the players. Uh, Take into account their backstories, their wants and desires. I, I ask players for a list. What opponents would your player, would your character, uh, like? would you like your character to face? What sort of, can you create uh, opponents that I can integrate into the campaign? What's your backstory? How can I use that? What sort of treasure do you want? What, what would you like to accomplish? If I know that f from before the game starts, I can integrate those details into the game. I also listen to them while they're talking at the table, make sure I pick up on their ideas and integrate it, integrate them into the game. Um, if we arrive at the town where John's character grew up, I'm not describing the town, I'm asking them to describe it, Tell, ask them what the, who the NPCs are, who he grew up with. It's making sure they're part of the creative process. I think that's more and more an expectation of people coming into the hobby. Some old school uh, friends of mine enjoy the dungeoneering experience and they don't want to overthink their games and they're fine with that. They're fine with the, the um, car uh, GM just railroading them along. They just want to kill things. That's fine. I was guilty of that in my younger years. Uh, there were campaigns I, I planned that were just this plot and the characters could not move it and the players would joke, there's the arrow pointing to where Roberto wants us to go. So I've learned. Uh, but I think it's better to to listen and to engage players 
and other participants in the game to make them part of the creative process. And likewise, if you're a player, engage with what your game master is presenting. Listen to the world he's putting forth. Uh, as you participate, also listen to his or her collaboration, because that's important to them. That's also keeping him or her engaged in the game. It's a matter of all of us supporting our creative process. Um, that's a good strategy for engagement. Uh, that's my response for day three of RPG a Day 2019. I hope everybody's having fun, and see you tomorrow for day four. Take care.